I know John's one of the greatest, uh, one of the greatest of all time. He's, no doubt. Uh, he's got the accolades to back it up and, and uh, I mean, been a consummate professional for longer than I've been alive. Uh, yeah, and he's, this tournament is in its 26th year. That's amazing. Which is huge. I mean, to do anything that long is yeah. fantastic and, and to wrangle shuffleboard players <laughs> for that long is nothing short of amazing. He runs a heck of a tournament. You know, it's it's always a good time out here. Um, first class act, absolutely. Yep. And John actually runs the Shuffleboard Federation as well at www.shuffleboardfederation.com, which they make the best shuffleboard weights, which are the Pro Series weights that come in four different speeds, the best shuffleboard wax, which comes in, uh, I think, six different speeds or seven different speeds. And then he also makes the shuffleboard cleaner. Uh, it's going to need to set. Oh, yeah. No, it I think might, He has hard. a chance here. Oh, oh, man. And just a little bit I'm too I'm not going to lie. I, I think that the, the cameras, I honestly think the cameras get a little adrenaline flowing in the, the blood system there. Yeah. They, they they put you on uh, on notice there for to make a good shot here. You know we've seen a lot of lag offs uh, first out, and now he's really going to have some work to do. Dave did hit, Dave did not have a hick, which is why he was able to. Yeah, you you really can't win an event like this with even one hickey. I mean, it's 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 really putting yourself behind behind the eight ball, so to speak. And that's a pretty good cluster there. Those Shuffleboard Federation Pro Series weights really do stick close together. The consistency of speed is absolutely crucial. And John hand polishes each Pro Series weight himself. So he's, I I'm did sure. not know that. Yeah, he, uh, awesome. the other day he called me and, and sent me like a text message with a picture of his hands and they were just filthy because he's been polishing weights all day. So, <laughs> so in other words, every Federation weight has been touched by greatness. Absolutely. Awesome. I feel even better about my M20s that I've got. Yep. Yeah, John definitely polished those himself. He said, and, and I asked him, I was like, don't you have other things to do? I mean, you run, you know, <laughs> the biggest shuffleboard business out there. You run the biggest wow. tournament, and, and you're sitting at the grinding wheel doing your things. Well, wow. I haven't found anybody who does it quite as good as me. All right, now this is, uh, this is an expert shot. I mean, this is what we would call a, a pro shot if he can stick his – Oh, no, he's trying to roll here. No, no, he is. He's coming across he's, the table. I think he was trying to stick his short red and combo it into the blue. Yeah, I think he was. Um, I think so, too. I could be wrong, but I, that's what I would have shot. <laughs> now, he's going to make the correction here. He's, he's going to have to pitch it over just a little bit. Yep. And he's done it. Does the board I don't know carry quite it enough, too much? Though. Board carried it just a little too much. Not going to come back in a second hit for John McDermott. Well, he's he's got his work cut out to beat TJ now. Um, <laughs> I I believe in him though. After all, I talked. If him anybody up. can do it, he can. Yeah, uh, one hundred percent. Oh, boy, oh. Dude, Brian from the crew is giving him a little poke poke grief. jabs. Yeah, that's good grouping there. Trademark once. And he's coming right-handed off the rail. Firm shot. He definitely made them all move, but he couldn't get them. The momentum on you know a hard shot like that to get all four off is something few guys can do. Guys like Kelly Cameron and... Uh, even Obi Pierce, guys who shoot real hard and accurately, have an advantage. Very good shot. Nice stick weight. Oh, that's a tough one there. He's got his work cut out for him on this shot. Um, he's joking that he's trying to give TJ a. a Second to last place victory, if that's a victory at all. Oh, very nice. And he and rolled it over. Sticks and rolls to two, three points total. He's on the board. And he surpassed TJ, another player. Surpassed it. Well, I guess that means TJ got lost. 
Not that I'm keeping score. That's all right. I think TJ knows where he's at right now. <laughs> and this is the final grouping for John. And he would love to get the four points off because this is what makes it into the highlight reels. If you can stick four and one, then you just made the highlight reel. And TJ, Whether or not there's an outcome. <laughs> TJ knows I'm just messing with him. He's been, uh, I mean, beating everybody lately. I mean, he's the giant killer, as I heard uh, Jim Payne call him. Uh, he absolutely is. Holy smokes. <laughs> good fire shot. He's going for that big four and one right uh, now. John's always, having a good time. He's chuckling. That's, his only That's great. Hope. That's, That's what his this is hope. all about. Fun stuff. Hey, even, even the best pros miss a couple weights sometimes. Oh, he made them all move. That was three and one. Not bad. And I don't want to call it too soon, but I think Dave Kython is going to be our champion today. <laughs> and it looks like that'll do it. Wow. What a great event. So the money's there for Dave Kython to collect, and that'll wrap up our broadcast for today. Thanks to the crew and Marcus Zapata, Dan Gustin for joining me in the booth. James, appreciate you having me. Thank you. It was fun. Everybody have a good day. All right, guys. Y'all have a great one. <laughs>